Item number two. Surprise! Well, not surprise, I know it. I oh! Love this. I love it. Century egg or a hundred year old egg or pidan. I think it's very interesting just because of the color. And then uh, if we just pick this up here, uh, it's a little surprising. If somebody told you this was an egg, wouldn't you say, I think it's rotten, right? Or yeah. spoiled? Uh, but it's just a very unique food product and it's made with duck eggs. So uh, can I cut this in half and you'll try a little bit? Okay. Kind of like Ooh. a... At not the any... beginning, when you, well, as a foreigner, when you just arrived in Taiwan, you think this is rotten, they, they are sick. But when you eat it, you realize like the aftertaste, whoa, you fell in love okay. with it and then you miss it. Because I think it's kind of like French cheeses a little bit. Sometimes mm -hmm. the smell's really strong, but when you eat it. All right. Cheers. Let's chin. enjoy. Okay, salud. Cheers. Salud. <laughs> Honest reaction. Honest reaction. Honest reaction. It's very special. <laughs> very special. Wow, you just went right in mm -hmm. there. That's how I eat. Okay. It tastes a little bit rotten. Okay. Like, it's delicious, but rotten. Okay. It's kind of like... So deliciously rotten? Yeah. It's hard to explain that. Well, I think the best way to explain it is maybe like some pungent French cheeses, maybe? Like has maybe a, a little, little bit, bit fermented. Of, a little fermented, mm -hmm. a little funk in there. Um, but there is a delicious component. Oh yeah, it's great. Okay. Yeah, it's so, great. Uh, is this something that you would eat or want to order or maybe on occasion or I don't need to eat this anymore? Uh, I occasionally would like to order this. Oh. Actually, I occasionally do order it. Oh, you do? Yeah, whenever I see it at a, at a restaurant, I will get it. Okay. Especially when it comes with the, uh, the tofu there. Okay, so moral of the story, just because it looks scary doesn't mean it's not Try good. It Try it out. Mm. But the question for you today is, what is the ingredient that is used in the process for making century eggs, or pidan? All right, is it horse urine? <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. What is that? <laughs> What is that? It's a pee. <laughs> pee! Pee pee! Can uh, I drink it? Can I try it? Uh, I don't know that you want to no? drink that. No, okay, maybe not then. Horse urine, okay, or is yeah. it quick lime, lime powder? I think that's what I use to clean my kitchen. I think you could clean your kitchen <laughs> with it too. So, uh, what makes pidan so special? And in the process, is it horse urine? Mm. Or is it quick lime. If it was quick lime, it wouldn't be so special. It wouldn't be so, wow, exotic and making people from abroad wanting to try mm -hmm. this, wow, century egg. So, urine, horse urine. Okay. Of course, even if you see the color, you won't feel like they use this to make it. Okay. So I still, I know so it's- So what's your guess? Yeah, it is this one. <laughs> well, I think if anything, if it were ever used with the horse urine, it's probably not used that way anymore because people might have a, weird reaction to it. So I would guess that it's the quick lime, at least now. Quick so quick lime, final answer? Yeah. Okay, is he correct? Ding! Yes. Is Pedro correct? No! Really? Wah, wah. Really? Okay, is she correct? No! <laughs> no? No, 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 no. So actually, it's an old wives' tale that people think that it's made with this, but it's actually, there's no horses involved in making a pi dan. So it's a combination of quick lime and also ash, and then there's also wheat hulls, but they pack it around the duck egg, and over time it changes the chemical composition, so it kind of cooks the egg on the inside without any heat. So that's how you make century eggs. So, so uh, two out of three, and let's go on to our third food item. Let's do it. 